Hello, I'm Gav. This video is sponsored by Google Pixel. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating some of my favorite new features of the Google Pixel 6 Pro. In the past, we've done slow-mo multicolored flames and we've done a fire tornado. So today, I'm going to be using this trusty bottle of flammable liquid, which will give us different colored flames and several fans and try and get a multicolored fire tornado. It's a tall order, but I think we can do it. Now we just have to wait for the sun to go down. Okay, the sun's gone down. We've got 14 fans around this bucket filled with various different flammable liquids of different colors. I'm just pouring in a little bit of the last color here. That should do it. I'm gonna film this at a thousand frames a second in 4K. First, I'm gonna light the fire, get focus on it, and then turn the fans on. Ooh. Okay, fans coming on. Whoa. That is mental. Look at these plumes. Probably like 15 feet up. Look at that. All right. That is, <laughs> okay, that's crazy. I was, I was kind of expecting all the colors to be in the same place, but you've got red in the bottom moving into like a yellowish green and ending up in a very smooth looking blue. And look at that. So the last time we did this, it was much harder to see through it. But here it's so translucent. You can see all the way through it. You can see the front of the vortex moving from left to right and the rear of the vortex moving back from right to left. It just looks so fake. I think that's my favorite part about it. It just looks like it's CG. Okay, it's really getting dark now. This is gonna be just an absolute montage of a video. So I'm just gonna try different things and I'll just show it to you all. This one has a very small bucket of just plain old gasoline in the middle. So hopefully this will be a big bright orange fire in the middle with all the colors swirling around it. Is that how fire works? I don't know, we'll find out. All right, the colored liquid isn't as fierce as the gasoline, so I'm just gonna light that and that should then light the gasoline. Here we go. Oh, it's already going, all right. Fans coming on. This is actually a really good demonstration of why I wanted to film this at night. You can see that the regular old gasoline is so much brighter than the fancy colorful chemicals that you can barely see them in comparison. Well, it's not very colorful. Nice and warm though. Definitely take the old eyebrows off. So we're actually getting some color now in the top. Ooh, it's a bit of a mixture. This is the same exposure I'm using for the colored flames and you can see it's actually blowing out the sensor. It's so much brighter. So I think we're gonna have to leave out the gasoline because it's completely overpowering. A lot of the photos here I'm taking on the Google Pixel are activating the night sight mode, which allows me to see much more detail in darker areas. We demonstrated that in this video, in fact. And I'll be using one of these photos to demonstrate a new feature at the end. I think for the next shot, I'm gonna have the camera looking straight down so we can potentially see all of those colors at once. Woo! Look at those streaks. <laughs> Interestingly, because the light from this tornado is made of all these different colors, the light that's reflecting off these fans just looks white. That is so cool. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> look at that looks like pure evil it looks like a, a portal to hell and all of the nice green is like the souls leaking out that is crazy it's like a black hole Wow. Oh, just everything about this is just so visually cool. The little tiny specks in it actually looks like something you'd see in space. off as this terrifying roaring flame and ends up as these nice silky looking wisps at the top. That almost looks good enough to touch. Highly advise against it though. Well that was some absolutely mesmerizing looking footage. I can't believe that you could actually see the progression from red to blue, from the bottom to the top of the tornado. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Now I'm going to talk to you about the Google Pixel. I've actually been using it throughout the shoot to get various pictures. In addition, there's now a very handy under the screen fingerprint scanner. But the one that blew me away the most was this magic eraser feature in photos. Look how quickly this works. This is an unedited screen recording. If you've got something in the picture you want to get rid of, like these two buckets here, you just draw a little bubble around them and then it cleverly detects what you're trying to get rid of. You've got some fool photobombing your nice picture, bam. <laughs> I think I fixed this picture in the Google Photos app faster than it would have taken me just to open it in a different photo editing app. And considering the time it took to do that, it's extremely convincing. I feel like if I saw this photo, I'd have no idea that anything was even removed. And there we have it. Thank you very much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Big old thanks to Google Pixel for sponsoring it. Make sure you check out the Google Pixel 6 on the Google Store. Subscribe if you love slow-mo, and I'll see you in the next video.